Does the iPhone SE's two gigabytes of RAM make a big difference? Okay, so for this test, the first thing I wanna do is open up this settings app and then scroll down till we see Safari and then clear all browser history and website data. All right, so they're both on even ground. I just wanna kill any apps that are running. So we have nothing running right now. I'm gonna open up Safari. And what I've done is I've created a special folder called test in my bookmarks. And that test folder contains tons of different links that I'm gonna open up on both devices. So the first one is gonna be the website for HTC's Vive VR headset. So um, that is all loaded up. So what I'm gonna do basically is just repeat that process over and over and over and over until I have every website loaded up. And obviously I'm going to speed this up a lot because otherwise it would take forever. So here we go. Let's go through here. Next one. And I've sped this up and as you can see, and the reason why I'm using Safari for this test is because it makes it easy to see that having two gigabytes of RAM is much better than having just one gigabyte. And there are some tangible benefits to having more RAM. Uh, it makes a difference in real world usage. When you use Safari, which pretty much everyone does, you're gonna see a difference when having two gigabytes of RAM. All right, so this is the last site, nine to five toys. All right, so that is loading up. And the iPhone 5S, just to reiterate, is on the right side. The iPhone SE is on the left side. So now here comes the actual test. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna go back to the very beginning of our list in our tabs and then just load each website that was opened. So we're gonna start with the HTC Vive website and basically we're just gonna go through each website one by one and see what happens when we open it and see if it refreshes or not. So you can see right there, the 5S is refreshing, indicating that that page was purged from memory because there's only one gigabyte of memory available on the 5S. So let's do the same thing with our YouTube page. And you can see, refreshed. Medium, refreshed on the 5S, still there on the ESC. All right, so it's just so easy to see the benefits of having two gigabytes of RAM by running this test. You can see that page is refreshing on the 5S. You see OnePlus's page is refreshing. So basically all these are gonna pretty much refresh on the iPhone 5S. The SE is hanging in there like a champ. Now that's not to say that the SE will never uh, purge tabs from memory because it will eventually. There's not a infinite amount of RAM in the iPhone SE, but that two gigabytes does help a lot and it goes a long way towards making the Safari experience better. All right, so Oculus website. BBC, Tesla. Okay, now watch ESPN here. You see it actually does refresh on the SE and the 5S. So like I said, there is a finite amount of RAM in the SE, but that two gigabytes does help a lot. So that is just one of the benefits. Of course, it helps with running applications, uh, and just overall system performance, having more RAM, at least enough RAM uh, so that your, your device isn't starved for memory is going to go a long way towards improving the usage experience. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.